I want to join the others in welcoming you to the anniversary service today. We're glad you came, and it's a real joy to have you, and we trust that you'll be blessed as you have come today to share with us in this great service here at Calvary. Now, after this service is over, uh, the uh, bus riders will be going back home in their buses, and they'll be eating a special meal on the bus as they go home, and the rest of you, uh, without exception, we hope, will meet us in the family center. We have food there and uh, all kinds of desserts and, and uh, all kinds of stuff. Uh, great. Uh, it's just wonderful. And you are welcome. All you have to do is be there. And uh, we'll go from here, there, and we'll tell you about that after the service is over. But uh, in the meantime, enjoy the service as it is. I'd like this morning to do two or three things. Uh, and I know better than to do this, but I'm going to do this anyhow. I know better than to do this. But I have, we have some people here from out of town that used to be members here, and they are back here for this service, and I'm going to ask them to stand especially for a moment. You're from out of the city. You're here for this service, this anniversary service. Would you stand, please? I know some of them are here. All right, now just keep standing there because I want to, See if I can recognize some of you. Uh, down here is Scotty Parks and his mother, Mrs. Parks. And uh, they're from up in the state of Washington, Seattle. And they're here this morning. It's good to have them. Wathena McGowan, used to be Weaver, here from uh, Lubbock, Texas, right? And uh, Mr. and Mrs. Perryman from over in the city of Irving. I guess you still live over there. Uh, they were members here for a long time, and my, it's good to have them back with us. And we're glad you're here this morning. And then Susan Wisnett back here in the middle section, and it's good to have her. Uh, her husband is a preacher, and he's with her, and uh, he does home mission work. And then Mr. and Mrs. Emmett Hill, right? Uh, that's right. They were members here a long time ago, and it's good to have them. And then right behind them, the handsome young man, Tex Smith, is that right? I thought I was right. Tex Smith. And then Lydia Finner. I tell you, it's good to have Lydia back with us this morning. We're glad you're here. That's great. And then I've got one, two, three, and I can't call your name. Harrison's? All right. And where are you living now? DeSoto, Texas. All right. Thank you. We're glad you're here. Uh, anybody else I missed in that crowd? My, we're glad you're here. Uh, that's pretty good when you can get them from Seattle. I like that. And all over the country, uh, Mrs. Fenner lives at uh, Midland, Texas. And uh, so we've had them from quite some distances this morning, and that's great. And then uh, I always like to recognize those charter members that we still have left. And I don't know but I've, whether I have one or two left here this morning. If you're a charter member, would you stand? I know Miss Friday. Mrs. Friday, Mary Friday, here at the front. Is that the only charter member we have here this morning? Now, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Give her a hand. That's right. Now, just for the record, just so we'll know, how many people are here this morning that were here 35 years ago that first Sunday in December when I preached my first sermon, and I can tell you what I preached on. My text was, to what intent have you sent for me? For what purpose am I come? And you can't find a better, more apropos text than that in the Bible. How many of you were here? Would you stand that first service 35 years ago? How about that? My. Great. Thank you. None of the choir here? Well, old singers never die. They just flat away and stay out of the choir, I guess. But anyway, that's great. That's wonderful. We're glad they're here. You know, I don't know of a greater compliment to anybody's ministry than to have that many people of approximately 65 people at first service 35 years ago, 
have that many people still present in the service this morning. That's great. That is wonderful. And I appreciate it, and I thank God for it. That's great. All the others, we're so glad you're here. Our regular people, our visitors from in the city and out of the city, we're so glad you came to share with us today here at Calvary. You've been a blessing to me and my family, and uh, it's just good to have you. That's all. Uh, I've got Mrs. O is standing back at the back. You can't see her. She's covered up with a lot of deacons around her. They're trying to keep her out of meanness. And uh, anyway, she's back at the back uh, in the uh, dark maroon dress, I guess that is. I don't know. But anyway, that's Mrs. O. My daughter, Kenny, at the organ. Uh, my son is uh, in Vancouver, Washington, uh, lives there, and he's not here this morning. So uh, that, that takes care of that problem. Uh, he was always a problem. But anyway, uh, we want to thank you for 35 of the greatest years of our lives. It's been a blessing.